This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can perform a face swap between two different people using GIMP. And there'll be a few things you'll have to keep in mind when selecting the images you want to use for a tutorial like this because this effect won't work on any image. Uh, you have to select two two images where both people are facing the same direction. Like here in these two photos I selected, both people are forward-facing, uh, they're forward-facing headshots. Now they don't necessarily have to both be forward-facing. They could be facing the side or, or to some kind of angle, just as long as both subjects are facing the same direction. Otherwise, it's not gonna look right. Another thing you wanna keep in mind is the lighting in the picture that was taken. If you have one photo with outdoor lighting during daylight, versus another photo with uh, like really poor indoor lighting. And it's really not gonna work for that either. And one more thing you wanna keep in mind is like the resolution of the photo. Um, if one photo was taken with like a really high quality camera and is in great, you know, great sharpness and resolution and the other photo was taken with like a, a webcam from like 2007, it's, it's, the effect isn't really gonna work either. Now, both photos don't have to be too similar, but they just need to be similar enough so that um, it'll, it'll work. And I'll, I'll demonstrate how to do that here. Uh, the, the two photos I used are of uh, Peyton Manning and, and Tom Brady. If you don't know who they are, they're American football players. And I already have the two separate images opened here. Um, what you'll wanna do is open them in separate tabs like I have here. So with the first one, I'm gonna take Tom Brady's face and put it on Peyton Manning. So I'll start over here with Tom Brady. I'm gonna zoom in on this by holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. And I wanna grab the free select tool, which is up here. And I just wanna draw a selection going around the main features of his face. Just like that, coming around, back up to the starting point, and right back to the starting point like that and create a selection. Now you'll see I'm going just over the main features of his face, not the chin or the jaw or the ear or the hairline or anything like that, just the face right there. And I'll go to edit, copy. And now I'll come over here to the image of Peyton Manning and I'll go to edit, paste as, new layer. And I'm gonna take that, uh, I'm gonna grab the move tool right here and bring this over on top like that. And I'm actually gonna take the opacity of this new layer and just bring this down a little bit so I can see, I can see beneath it and line up the eyes. So I'm gonna hold control and roll up the mouse wheel to zoom in a little bit. And then I'll move this around to see. If you notice the eyes of the original image are a little, smaller. So I'm going to take this new face image. I'm going, to, I'm going to grab the scaling tool and just scale that down a little bit. I'm going to hold control so it locks the proportions. I'll scale it down maybe that much and click scale. And let me try lining this back up. Uh, that looks pretty good, but uh, if you noticed, it's a little off. It's like the axis is a little off on the vertical axis. Let me bring up the opacity to show you. Um, I'm going to have to rotate this around a little bit. So I'm going to grab the rotate tool and just rotate the face around a little bit like that to match up this, the, uh, the face beneath it. Go ahead and click rotate. Grab the move tool. Put this right about here like that. And what I'm going to do now is if you notice around the edges here, some of the eyebrow is showing through on the, uh, the original image. So I'm going to click on the, ori the original image and I'm going to zoom in on this portion a little bit over here. And again, I'm just holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. I'm going to grab the uh, clone tool and I'm gonna use a uh, medium, medium sized brush like that. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use the right bracket key to increase the size. And I'm gonna create a selection right here by holding control and clicking on that. That's a good smooth selection to use. And then I'll just go ahead and click on that area right there. And maybe I'll try it over here as well. Okay, that's working pretty well. I'll create another selection over here by holding control and clicking on that. That works come over here. To move the page around, I'm pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. You should also have these scrolling bars down here. Um, let me zoom out and see how that looks. All right, that looks all right for now. I could always go back and touch that up later. So what I want to do now is match the skin tone because if you notice, um, Tom's face is a little bit more like pink or reddish to it. So what I'm going to do, there's a, there's a couple of different ways you could do this. You can use curves or levels. I'm just going to use levels for this one. Actually, you know what? First, I want to click on the, uh, the, 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 uh, the proper layer. Then we'll go to Colors, uh, Levels, and I'm gonna move this middle note over to the right. That doesn't look right, I'll move it to the left. That looks a little better. Maybe I'll take this node and move that to see how that looks. Nah, nah, that doesn't look too good. 
Uh, it's best to just experiment and see what works. I think that looks pretty good right there. I'll go ahead and click OK. And the only thing left to do now would be to clean up the edges. And to do that, I'm going to grab the eraser tool. And I'm going to grab the softest brush over here. And I'm going to zoom in on this. I'm going to make this brush a little bit bigger. You can change the size over here. I'm just using the left and right bracket keys on the keyboard to make it larger and bigger. I mean, to make it uh, bigger and smaller. And just go ahead around the edges and just smooth them out. Like that, smooth that out. Try to eliminate some of like this cheek area underneath the eye. We want to keep as much as the original face on there as possible in order to get it to really look uh, believable. And if you notice, the uh, the original eyebrow is starting to reveal underneath um, the boundaries of the new face here. So I'm going to have to go back and fix that in a minute. Yeah, it's happening over here as well. So I'm going to go and clean that up in a minute. I'll just get this done. Make sure I got everything. I can temporarily disable that layer to see. Okay, yeah, that looks decent. Now I'm going to press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. So we got everything set except for like the eyebrow over here. We just got to fix that. So I'm going to click on the original layer. I'll grab the uh, clone tool. I'll create another selection like maybe right here. Hold control and click and then use that selection to paint that in. Let me zoom out to see how that looks. That looks good enough. Uh, I'm going to use a, um, a harder brush for this. Start right up here, hold control and click on that. Do the same thing over here. Let me press one to zoom out. And I'll click on the original, actually I'll click on the move tool to get rid of that selection. And as you can see, we have pretty much completed our face swap tutorial. Now to do the same thing for Tom Brady, you would just repeat the steps that we just went over. We'd go ahead and grab uh, Peyton's original face using the lasso tool and paste it onto Tom Brady's and resize it as needed. But uh, I won't go over all of that because it would just be redundant. So um, that's pretty much how you can do that with GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.